Hello friends, let's look at our second example for flash automation using Selenium WebDriver. In this example, we are going to automate YouTube video player. Google has exposed functions which can communicate with flash based YouTube player. In this video, we are going to see get player state, pause video, play video, seek to mute set volume functions. So before moving forward to see the code for this, we go and do a dry run to our code to know what we will get at the end of coding. So for that, go to Eclipse and run this example class. This one is our flash automation capability class. And this is our call flash object method which is very useful in future so this is our implementation class so right click on this class run as java application which opens a browser and now youtube video link is open okay so now code execution takes all till buffering is going on We need to skip this advertisement, it will take few seconds. Okay, so this is actual video. Once buffering is done, pause video expose function is called, which pauses the current playing video. And now play video expose function is called, which plays the currently playing queued loaded video. Now seek to expose function is called which seeks to specify time in the video and after that mute expose function is called which mutes the player. Now at the end set volume expose function is called which sets the volume. So at the end browser is closed by selenium web driver here we go so nice video i hope it will help you so now we look at our code to know what just happened so uh, this is our class youtube in this we will uh, create a public static void main and after that we have create object for firefox driver the name of object is driver we used this driver object a lot in this class file after that we maximizing the browser and then we have create a flash object web driver instance flash app this one is the class and we have created object for this class so we can utilize all the functions of this class so after that we override the constructor and pass two arguments to it one is object of firefox driver and another one is youtube player object id uh, which can help to find youtube player on the web page the ID name is movie player and let's see a uh, constructor over here this one is the constructor of this class first is uh, first argument is web driver and second one is flash object ID so we have do the same thing to invoke that constructor after that we call a get function to navigate to website URL and this logic holds the execution till YouTube player loads video so YouTube player having these all possible values first e means uh, whenever get player state is called which return different states so three, three states says that uh, the video is still buffering. Other are different states. You can get the understanding from the name. 
means if uh, video play video is ended zero return if it's unstarted minus one is written if it's paused two is written if it's in queue then five is written so here we call method of flash object web driver class using instance of its object flash app and we pass a name of exposed youtube function pause video so this will poses the video of youtube after that here we uh, call a play video expose youtube function in uh, this method and uh, after that we call seek to function uh, and we pass two arguments first is the uh, number of seconds we need to reach on the video player and after that we call this logic again so we can uh, pause the video till buffering is done and after that we call a mute function and which mute the video player and after that we change the volume of the player to by calling set volume function and we uh, add a 10 to that volume setting and at the end we close the browser using driver dot quit and on all these statements we have put this thread dot slip to hold the execution of the code so see it's very easy to automate flash application using this class capability using selenium web driver you can get all links used in this video from video description